hello hello my sweet peaches and welcome to this very chaotic video intro in which my villagers just decided to go absolutely wild in the background um but today i am on my main fairy court island peach and i'm gonna be working on uh decorating the area around my museum and the little strip of beach that is gonna be in front of it um, so the idea for this is a butterfly sanctuary, basically. Um, plus I want to build like an old ruin on the beach. Um, it'll, it'll make sense as the build comes together. But um, I wanted to build this like really gorgeous butterfly pond. Um, it took like in front of the building, um, it took ages to fiddle with the placement of the cliffs. So I did, I did cut this footage down quite a bit. But I'm um, here is where I'm starting to map out uh, where this butterfly pond is. I will throw a picture up on the screen here so you can see uh, what I was working from. But basically I needed a space that was I believe nine by seven uh, to build this pond. It's a very big pond. So I, I had to keep kind of like moving the cliffs back to uh, have space for the pond and have the museum next to it and still have like space to walk around it and put flowers around it. Um, so yeah, I did, I did a lot of moving around um, in this video. And I don't know if it's possible to get seasonal affective disorder from a game, but I'm pretty sure I have it. Um, the snow is just making me so depressed right now. Um, but I'm way too uh, stubborn to time travel, at least until I'm through Valentine's Day. Like, I, I don't want to miss any events. Um, oh, and I guess I think Festival is on the 15th, like the next day. But yeah, I just want to go through those days at the very least. Um, but I've actually been enjoying working on my beaches because it's like the one spot on my island that's not covered in snow. So I've been focusing on that lately. Um, which real quick, yeah, this is the process of me actually building this butterfly pond. Um, it's not too, it was a little confusing, but it's honestly, once you start getting the shapes, it's not, it's really not that bad. It's just very big. But um, basically you just do these little round ponds connected together. It looks like little butterfly wings. Um, I don't know if I really show my map at any point in this video, but it actually does look like a butterfly on my map, which is really cute. Like when you when you look at the map, you'll be able to tell like, oh, that's a butterfly. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I have been working on my beaches a lot and I think the next area that I'm planning to work on and hopefully film for a little speed build is um, like a summer boardwalk area. I'm kind of on the beach just to the left of this spot um, across like the river mouth. Um, which I, I kind of, yeah, for this island, um, I'm trying to do like Peach 2.0. Um, I've never restarted this island. I've had this island since like release day, um, but it's been through a lot of changes, like me just half finishing it and then tearing things apart and redoing it. So it's been through a lot of different versions and I've had a lot of different builds and I kind of want to get to like its final form, I guess. Um, and I was thinking for this like final version of Peach, I want to bring back some of my old beloved builds. And my very original version of Peach was very like kind of before we even had like themes, like before Cottagecore is a thing or we really did themes um, and everyone just kind of did what they want wanted. Um, I was doing like kind of a California inspired island and I had like a little boardwalk. Um, oh my god, I was so mad. Freckles wanted to move out. I was so upset. She is literally my queen. Um, but yeah, I want to recreate some of my favorite builds. Like, you maybe just saw briefly as I ran past my entrance, I had that kind of checkerboardy pattern um, in the front, like with the the, the tiles, I guess. Um, I, I did that in one of my first entrances. And then yeah, my original version of Peach was very California inspired. So I had like a summertime boardwalk and I kind of want to recreate that, especially now we have so many items that are good for a boardwalk. Like we have all of those adorable, like carnival and festival items. Um, so it's just going to work like way better. Um, and yes, I will definitely, um, I, I did basically flatten Peach um, with the 2.0 update, um, so apologies to anyone who really loved how my island looked like in previous videos, but I will be bringing back some different, some areas, like, um, yeah, um, what am I saying? Um, anyways, I wanted to comment, so this, what is it, gazebo? I, I mix up gazebo and pergola a lot, I'm probably going to do that in the video, but this gazebo right here, um, right now it's this pale blue. I, I am eventually going to change it into green, but um, I, I kind of love the blue. Lately, 
I have been just really into pale blue. Like, I have never been a blue person. I've never, I've never really liked the color blue. I don't know, it's just not me. I am definitely a pink girl, if you couldn't tell from like the aesthetic of my channel and my other builds. But yeah, I love pink, but lately just like this like soft, like Cinderella powder blue is just my jam, especially just because it looks so good with pink, which is my favorite color. It gives like, I don't know, like trans flag vibes slash like Sylveon color aesthetics. Um, which speaking of Sylveon and Pokemon, um, Pokemon Legends Arceus, hello. Um, I'm obsessed. I think like pretty much everybody else. It has been literally so fun. It, it's like my fa it's like honestly just the best of every game. Like it's got, it's got like the Breath of the Wild vibes, but it's also like Pokemon. So it's like cute and nostalgic. And it's also giving like Attack on Titan vibes just because like it's called like you're, you're in the Survey Corps. Um, so, and it's like all my favorite things in one. And then it has, it does have, you know, some like, I guess low key Animal Crossing vibes. Cause you know, you can like change how your character looks and you can, uh, there's like crafting, which um, can I just comment? Um, the bull crafting beautiful. I, I said I would never ask Nintendo for anything after this 2.0 update. I, I said I would never complain about Animal Crossing ever again. But if I'm allowed to complain about one thing, like please just give us bolt crafting. Like the, like the same way that crafting works in, in Arceus Legends or Le I keep saying Arceus Legends, but it's Legends Arceus, but whatever. They I want the bolt crafting. It's just so nice being able to craft like 30 Pokeballs at once. And I'm like, that would have been really great for this build. Do you know how many arches I had to craft for this build? It would have been really nice to just be able to craft like 10 in one go. It's like, Nintendo, please just, just add it in. It'd be so simple. Um, but yeah, anyways, back to the actual build at hand. Um, I, I wasn't really intending like to put the castle walls like to cover the museum. Like, I know that's a thing a lot of people are doing right now, like using those castle wall items to sort of cover up the buildings, um, just make it fit your aesthetic. That wasn't really my goal. Like, I didn't really go into this thinking, yeah, I want to cover up the front of the museum, but I don't know, it kind of just happened and I actually really like it. But um, it, it, it's not really something that I, I'm normally good at, um, like using these walls. I, I definitely, I've always gone for very natural islands. I'm definitely not good at like the city aesthetic. I'm not good at doing like the giant buildings or anything. It's just not what I'm good at. But um, I have loved seeing, you know, all of these amazing buildings people are doing with the castle walls. Um, and so I really think I kind of want to try it out. Um, I actually, okay, so God, I'm all over the place this morning. But anyways, I visited a dream island last night. Um, it was the island of Odette by ACNH Ava on Instagram. I will throw the picture up on the screen here so you can see like the images of it and like the dream address if you want to visit. Hopefully it's all right if I share it. I, um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure it's fine. But anyways, um, oh my God, it, it's, it was such a beautiful island and I really loved it because part of it was like, kind of like, you know, very like Italian city core, like with all of these, you know, medieval wall sides and the castles and stuff. But then it was also like some parts were very rustic with like dirt path. And like, it just inspired me so much for my own island because I love the natural aesthetics, but I also have been loving these uh, like buildings people are making. And so I think I decided I want to do like one section of peach, like, kind of like a little city, like a little like rustic medieval type uh, city. And I'm kind of thinking that this museum is gonna be like on the edge of that since it's like very decayed. I wouldn't say this is like a proper building. It's like kind of falling apart. Um, but yeah, so I wanna have part of my island, like a little city and then I'll kind of have like a more natural like fairy forest area spread around the city. Um, and I'm really excited to, to build it. I have, I just have so many ideas for my island. I, I'm just so excited to show you all um, and, and share, uh, hopefully share a bunch of builds and, and stuff uh, in the future. Um, and anyways, before I forget, before we get too far into this video, I wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed and who has been watching my videos. Um, my video I have on my channel where I am, it's kind of like an update tour of Peach that I filmed not too long. I think it was like right around October. It wasn't too long before the 2.0 update. That video is at like eight and a half thousand views. 
which is insane. Um, I'm literally like, I, I, I'm so shook. Like I literally filmed, I almost didn't make that video. I was just like, oh, I kind of just want to film this just for myself, just so I remember what my island looked like. And then I posted it and it's literally my most viewed video and I'm like so honored. And um, it's just so exciting that you guys love my island peach because she's my baby. Um, I, I do feel bad because yeah, I, I basically completely ripped it apart. Like everything you see in that video is like <laughs> gone now um because i totally flattened but i am like i said i'm gonna do like a peach 2.0 i'm gonna reincorporate some of those builds like i will definitely be redoing like the rainbow bridge and the cloud kingdom because that's like the thing people comment on the most um so i have to you know recreate that um and yeah i'm gonna bring back some of the builds that you see in that video so don't don't fall into despair too quickly um and yeah um we're almost to 200 subs um we're currently, as I'm filming this, uh, it, it's the it's the first as I'm filming this voiceover. Um, so yesterday, for those of you who are watching on a release day, we're at 195 subs. So I'm almost to 200. We might already be at 200 by the time this video goes up, which is insane. Um, just like, thank you so much. Like, honestly, this has been a crazy start of the year for me. And just like, I feel like this channel has been like the one very good constant in my life right now. Um, which yeah, also did want to say, if you're not already subscribed, you should, um, you, you, sh you should hit that sub button. Cause actually, um, fun fact, um, it, if you're watching this video on release day, AKA February 2nd, it is my birthday. Um, so, uh, yeah, you could, a great way to give me a free birthday gift. Just slap that subscribe button. It's free. It takes like half a second and it makes me very, very happy. Um, so yeah, consider that. Also like this video and maybe leave a comment um, cause that also makes me very happy. <laughs> um, anyways, enough about me. Um, I was going to actually say like, I really wanted to like keep the ball rolling on content creation um, since I have been getting more views and more subs and I've been feeling very encouraged. Like, oh my gosh, I gotta keep posting. You know, I gotta keep giving the people the content they want. But um, it's been like a month since I posted because my life kind of got a little derailed. Uh, 2020 has been so far pretty crazy. G good, but also just crazy, you know, in general. Um, basically, I quit my job. Um, I, I've been working like a part-time, crappy retail job since last i think like may or june like right after i graduated college um and it's just been like a constant source of frustration because i was not given full time like i was promised um so i was just like basically lied to by a lot of people there and co-workers were very mean to me like treating me like i'm dumb um or then some people were you know very homophobic and that was you know pretty sucky um and obviously customers suck you know anyone who's ever worked retail or food service or anything you know customers are just the worst um so i was just really sad and my depression was getting really bad and things were going awful and uh this actually like really great opportunity came up where i could have gotten like a little promotion i could have been like full-time and i could have been working like outside with plants which if you can't tell from this build i really like plants i really like, i like flowers um which which paused from my venting to be like oh my god look at these ruins they're beautiful um but yeah basically i i got passed up by someone else who already was full-time uh basically because uh companies don't like giving people full-time because they have to pay benefits so instead of like this would have been like such an amazing, life-changing, wonderful job for me. But instead they're like, let's just give it to someone who isn't really suited to it, but it'll mean we can save money and not have to pay benefits for people, which is really sucky. And, uh, you know, I, I just got like so disillusioned with like the lies, being treated like shit, like the, the corporate greed. And I just, I just quit. Um, I've just been very like fed up in general, like since the start of this new year. I know like the new year is kind of arbitrary. Like, I don't know, time doesn't have meaning. Just because it's January 1st doesn't suddenly mean like life is gonna change. But I have felt very different this year, despite that. Like, I don't know, I woke up the morning of January 1st and I was just like done. Like, I'm so, I just don't wanna settle for less than I'm worth. I'm so mad at like the job market sucks. Rent is overpriced. My prescriptions are overpriced. People are so mean and homophobic and I'm just like, I've just decided I'm like done with it. So I am like, you know what? I'm just gonna do what makes me happy, even if it's, you know, not what is expected of me or it's, you know, not what I'm supposed to do, quote unquote. I'm just gonna do me, I'm just gonna live my life. And 
you know like i know like quitting a job is like kind of dumb especially when like you know i need the money because your girl be a broke bitch but um it just felt so good like i i went home and i was just like happy crying in the shower and like for the whole week before like leading up to me quitting i had just felt so depressed like i had this like sad cold pit in my chest like non-stop and like after I quit it was gone and I just felt so warm and like fulfilled inside and like it literally just it just like I knew it was the right choice even though it does suck because I am you know I'm gonna go without money and work for a little bit but I just know ultimately it's what I need to do and I am very very fortunate that I could do this you know like I, I live at home and I have people to support me and I still have a bunch of leftover scholarship money um God, I was so mad filming this. Nobody wanted to sit with me. Nobody wanted to sit with me and I was so mad. <laughs> they wouldn't, they refused. I kept sitting down um, to try to bring them over. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I am very fortunate. You know, I have savings, so it's not, you know, don't worry. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna be homeless. I'm not gonna starve to death. I'm not gonna, I'm not like gonna be destitute because I quit a job. Um, so I am very fortunate. I know not everyone can quit their jobs and I feel very sorry for people who are stuck in shitty situations and I wish the best for everyone. But I'm just saying like, you know what? Let's make this, let's just make this year our year in whatever way, whether it's something big like quitting your job or confessing your love for someone or moving to a new city or something really tiny, like picking up a hobby you've always wanted to or I don't know, just trying something new, trying that new restaurant you've always wanted to, just a little, or getting a piercing, you know, just, just do something for you, make this your year, because I just feel like, you know, that 2022 is going to be my year, um, I, I'm currently filming this on the first, um, so it's Lunar New Year, it's Year of the Tiger, which I recently discovered I am a tiger, um, I always thought I was a rabbit, because, um, you know, it's, the zodiac, it's based on, like, what year you're born in, and 1999 is usually, you know, they say it's Year of the Rabbit, but um, Lunar New Year for 99 was in like, it was like February like 16th or something. And since I was bef born before that date, I'm actually a tiger. I was actually like born at like the end of like, uh, like the, the tiger year, um, which is usually listed as like a 1998 year. So yeah, I'm actually a tiger. This is actually my year. I almost didn't even realize, but it's my year. And then yeah, uh, the very next day, AKA today is my birthday. So I don't know, I just, I'm feeling some energy. I'm feeling some energy besties. I'm feeling like I, I'm gonna make some changes. I already did make a big change. Like I literally quit my job. Um, and yeah, things are going good with YouTube. It just feels, it feels very encouraging. Um, so yeah, just like basically a massive thank you to everyone who supported me. Cause it's been what's, it's really been what's like kept me going. Like I feel like the, 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 li the little bit of growth I've had in this channel in the last few weeks has been kind of really encouraging me to like keep going and keep following those dreams and you know it just feels like a very good sign from the universe um that y'all enjoy my content and that you know I'm doing what I'm doing what I love doing and I'm glad you all enjoy watching me um anyways okay let's actually talk a, I, this was very this was just a venting session um thank you for listening to all of that or or if it's muted then I, I guess you know because sometimes I mute videos if I'm not in the mood to listen to blabbering so maybe you didn't listen i don't know but anyways um thank you regardless thank you for just having this video open right now and being i don't even know how many what we're 18 minutes into this video i think thank you for being here this long um to this very chaotic video of me moving flowers a thousand times because that's basically what this build is um i yeah i didn't really talk about it but i built these little beach ruins um with these arches oh my god i love them i i did not come up with this idea I will say that right now, my brain is not this juicy. I wish it is, but she's pretty juiceless. Um, I saw just like a lot of pictures in general on Instagram and Pinterest of people building little mini buildings with these uh, arches put together. And then yeah, I added the, the pergolas in the middle to make it feel really enclosed. It's gonna be so much fun to play hide and seek on this little beach. I wanna put more of these ruins all over my island because they're just, there's so many good little spots you can like run through and hide and be sneaky sneaky and it's been really cute like my villagers keep like walking through them and i don't know it's just it's just cute when they just like suddenly emerge from this little this little building um but yeah basically we're getting pretty close to the end of the video it's just me like finicking with um all the flowers and stuff as i mentioned earlier i originally went for like blue the the blue gazebo but then i did change it to dark green um 
because you know this is the museum aka uh the roost <laughs> I, I don't really think of it as a museum anymore to me it's just it's the roost um so i wanted those like dark green brewster starbucks vibes and i did want to include my little brewstoid um spoilers in case you haven't seen but uh once you've had coffee with brewster i think it's like 50 times he gives you a gyroid that looks like a brewster it looks like him and it makes little cooing noises <laughs> and i knew i wanted it to be near the museum uh, since that's kind of like his place um but yeah so i ended up changing it to that dark green and i, lo I love the dark green i love how it matches the i also just love the dark green Oh, excuse me, I just burped. I love the dark green iron garden set right here. Um, so it looks really pretty together. It's, it's very like cafe Starbucks barista-ing vibes and I love that. But I don't know. I also, like I said, I just love blue and pink. I will probably change this to blue and pink at some point, especially whenever it is cherry blossom season. My island will become very pink, I'm sure. But um, that's kind of the fun of this game. Nothing's permanent. You can just change it up and... Um, also, yeah, you are totally free to recreate this on your own island. You know, whatever parts you want to recreate, I'm I'm not gonna like get mad and like I don't know copyright strike you. I don't own I don't own the rights to this. I'm just building. I'm just having fun. I'm just vibing. Um, but yeah, you could like change the colors to really do anything. Like you could do these arches all in the black customization and make it like spooky graveyard ruins. Uh, you could make it all very pink and pastel. You can make it very warm and beigey for more of a cottage core vibe. You could really do anything. Um, and yeah, I think that's really fun. Um, you can literally do anything you want with this game. But yeah, at the end here, I, I spent most of my time just finagling with the flowers, getting everything just right. Um, and I'm very, very picky about my wheat fields. Um, I, I don't like the, like a lot of people, I hate the straight edges. So I do try to stagger them a bit. Like you can see off to the left, like that one is sticking out a little farther. I think it just makes it look more natural. And then yeah, putting a tall item in front of them, like that log, um, mush stool thing, uh, mush log, whatever it's called. Um, having that there to kind of block where the edges of the wheat fields are. I really like doing that. I'm just very, very, very picky about how things look, as you can probably tell, because I've redone these areas like 65 times. Um, I just like the edges to look really nice. I like it to look very balanced. I don't like having these like really sharp lines on the wheat field. So I always try to put flowers or something in front of them. Um, and I do love how it looks right on the beach here. Like when the water kind of comes up and actually touches the wheat, it just looks so natural and it's so beautiful. And I really love it. And I, I've mainly been putting the wheat fields kind of around wherever I have like ocean water or like rivers or ponds. Um, because yeah, I'm not, I, I use the green one. I don't really want it to be like wheat. I'm thinking it more of just like natural grass or something. Um, it's like the tall, it's like Pokemon tall grass. My, my brain is just no thoughts, only Pokemon right now. I just want to go play, play more uh, Arceus Legends. Oh my God, what a game. Um, my poor island is never going to get finished because of this game. I'm just going to be playing that forever. Um, but yeah, I think we're getting pretty close to the end of the build here. So I'm just going to... Be quiet and let you all vibe until the end. Actually, just kidding. I thought of something else to say. Um, I ended up changing the, the flowers on the pergola to yellow. I was really inspired by um, the like wedding arch that comes in the yellow and green version, which ironically I ended up not using the wedding items at all in this build. I was gonna put out a wedding a wedding arch and it just it just didn't look good. But that's how I came up with the inspo for this color palette. But like I said, you know, you can really do any color palette that you want. Um, you can really choose any colors. Um, yeah, and here I'm just kind of messing around with like, I'm gonna put an incline here at some point. I don't know exactly what's going up on that cliff, but I guess I'll figure it out later. Um, yeah, this is just the last little bit of me finishing up the paths, finishing up the terraforming. I did want to move that little pond back. Like I only moved it back one. It was just hard to see the walkway with the arches on the beach. Anyways, yeah, and here's the final build. Um, here she is, um, just walking through it. It looks so good when you pan up, like it looks like, the, makes the museum look so fancy with the uh, the gazebo and the castle walls. I am just so happy with it and everything just looks so overgrown and beautiful and yeah, there's butterflies everywhere. I can just imagine uh, this beach just being filled with like, just being filled with butterflies and nature and it would just be so relaxing to sit and sit my little cup of matcha over here. Oh my gosh. And yeah, this little bell in here was so... I love this little like decayed clock tower kind of thing. I think it's so cute. And I love that you can actually still ring the bell. But yeah, thank you all so much 
for hanging out and uh, just letting me vent and talk at you for 25 minutes. If you're still here, please give that video a like. And yeah, I will see you all in the next build. Stay peachy.